Hello, so now we're going to start how to put a foreign desk on the Xbox One S. Yeah, you can see Xbox One S. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is my dashboard. And then we're going to start with the... So, I got the little extras, and I got the Xbox games. I got PlayStation games. I got Nintendo games. So, let's go start with Xbox games. So, so if I'm going to grab two, because... Because one just says that one's, one's not compatible and one's compatible. So let's start with Project Gotham Racing. Yeah, I never played that game for a, for a long time. I never played it. Okay, this game isn't playable here. Yeah, because it's not working. Well, because it wasn't wasn't support backwards compatible. Because you had to look on the list on the on your computer to see go to xbox.com slash backwards compat. You can see the all the list of the OG Xbox games and the Xbox 360 games. So now we're gonna put Prince of Persia there, so it's it does play compatible. Let's see what it does. See, there it is. Prince of Persia. Yeah, you can see your boot up and... Yeah, that's a nice boot up screen. I haven't played this. Yep. It's for, for the old gamers. Okay, next up, Xbox 360. <clears throat> so, same thing in these again. About the OG Xbox games. So, let's try this Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Yeah, this is a great game. I don't know why this game is rated T for teen, but but the franchises are mature. Okay, same thing again because it says for the list of Xbox or oh, Xbox and Xbox 360 games playable games are that are playable. Yeah, that's why you need to take the list again. But next, I had to do uh, Black Ops Two. Oh, hang on. Uh, I can't do it. So I don't want to scratch my disc. There you go. <clears throat> when I was holding my phone. Now, let's see. Black Ops 2. Oh, there you go. So it does now. So this one's already compatible, and so when you have to transfer games for your 360 saves or the OG Xbox saves, so you need to download to as a hard drive to use a Xbox 360 console. So it means you can transfer all your saves on the Xbox 360. It's backwards compatible with it. All right, there's enough of this. So let's start beginning with the Xbox One game. So this is uh, this is called the Black Ops Cold War. But I can see it says, don't mind this, it's an Xbox Series X, but it's compatible with Xbox One. It's an Xbox Series X and Xbox One. But it's just the optimized Xbox Series X, look at the system link. So this is the Cold War. This is a fun game. I'm gonna start a video of Cold War soon.
Yep, this works. Yeah, more better often than Xbox Three X. All right, next, let's head out to the PlayStation games. All right, let's start with the PS3, and I already got a PS3. So this is PlayStation All Star Battle Royale. This is kind of like a rip off to Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, it's more often than that. Okay. Okay, it's not reading because it's a Blu-ray disc, and <clears throat> I don't know why it's this. It takes so long. It's a Blu-ray disc. Okay, <clears throat> I'm not gonna do it. Take long. It's alright. Let's check this game. Alright, PS4. It's God of War. Yeah, I got a PS4 in the living room. Let's see. Alright, what's that? Okay, don't mind me. This is really, really took too long for playing a Blu ray disc on the. A PS4 disc on the Xbox One is a Blu-ray disc. More often the Xbox One did. Let's see. Um, okay, same thing again because this takes so long for the for the PS4 game. Oh, <clears throat> anyway, let's proceed. Alright, <clears throat> okay, let's try to head out to the extras, okay, so I don't want to do copyrights or not. Okay, let's start with the DVD Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Okay, it's launching a Blu-ray disc. Are right, gonna head home because no copyrights. It works. Because I don't own that. Alright. <clears throat> so let's try a Blu-ray. Uh, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Otherwise, Blu ray disc has tabs. Sorry, I don't know why it's a notification for the Xbox. Okay, this is a uh, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Okay, the same thing with the Blu-ray disc. Or just head out. So it definitely works. Blu-ray works. Alright, let's try 4K Ultra HD. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's... Okay, this is Avengers Endgame. Yeah, best movie of all time, of Avengers Endgame. I've seen it twice in theaters, and now...
Okay, now it's popped out the Blu-ray disc. Because this is a 4K Blu-ray disc. So it works. It's compatible with it. I don't know why it slipped out of my hand because I'm using my phone. Alright, last but not least, the CD. This is the doors. So when you, so if you bought, so if you bought a CD, it, that means you need to download a group music app on your Xbox One, or it could be Xbox Series X, but you need to download it onto, on the App Store on your Xbox, and that goes to Blu-ray too, and that goes to the Blu-ray player. Okay, it does work. It works. But I don't want to do play as copyright rules. Alright. <clears throat> Let's try PC. Beowulf the game. I haven't played it. Beowulf the game. Okay, it says, it check the disc, then try again. And make sure you're using the Xbox One game or music CD or, or a movie on Blu-ray or DVD. <clears throat> yeah, it, it don't work because it's a PC DVD. Yeah, you can see it's a PC DVD ROM. Or the PC CD. Yeah, that's the same. Alright, next to Nintendo games. Uh, so I got a 3DS uh, Super Mario Maker for Nintendo 3DS. But I don't know, it just works for cartridges. Nope. Because it's a cartridge. Put it inside a disc slot. Or Nintendo Switch games, Super Smash Butters Ultimate. Yeah, this is a Nintendo Switch. Here you go. <laughs> nope, same thing again because it's a cartridges. This is a cartridge or a game card, whatever it's called. Alright, so thanks for watching. Just subscribe and comments below.